Folks, it's difficult, but it's simple. All of us in, the cha in this chamber, we need to rise to this moment. We can't turn away. Let's do what we know in our hearts that we need to do. Let's come together to finish the job on police reform. Do something. Do something. That was the plea of parents who lost their children in Uvalde. I met with every one of them. Do something about gun violence. Thank God. Thank God we did. Passing the most sweeping gun safety law in three decades. That includes things like that the majority of responsible gun owners already support enhanced background checks for 18 to 21 years old, red flag laws keeping guns out of the hands of people who are a danger to themselves and others. But we know our work is not done. Join us tonight is Brandon Say, a 26-year-old hero. Brandon put his college dreams on hold to be at his mom's side. His mom's side when she was dying from cancer. And Brandon... Brandon now works at the dance studio started by his grandparents. And two weeks ago, during the Lunar New Year celebrations, he heard the studio door close, and he saw a man standing there pointing a semi-automatic pistol at him. He thought he was going to die, but he thought about the people inside. And in that instant, he found the courage to act and wrestle the semi-automatic pistol away from the gunman who had already killed 11 people in another dance studio. 11. He saved lives. It's time we do the same. Ban assault weapons now. Ban them now. Once and for all. I led the fight to do that in 1994. And in, in 10 years, that ban was law and mass shootings went down. After we let it expire in the Republican administration, mass shootings tripled. Let's finish the job and ban these assault weapons. 